Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for being here. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about my transition from BBG to Kelsey Wills Power Program to BBG Stronger and then back to BBG. I've been using the Sweat app for about, I'm gonna say like five years off and on. So I've definitely had some time to kind of evaluate every single time that I've used it and every single workout plan. So this is all just my experience. I don't think it's the same for everybody. So just a disclosure, I don't believe that this program is the right way for you or the, you know, the wrong way for you. I just think it's something that's helped me and I'm just gonna share my personal pros and cons for using this, this app. And then stay tuned at the end because I'm gonna be posting my before and after pictures from like when I first started up until even now. So if you guys want to check those out, please stay tuned till the end. All right, so I don't even know how I heard about BBG. I think I just started seeing stuff like on Instagram and I was looking for like a new program to do. I went onto Instagram and I started noticing like all the before and after pictures. And I was like, dang, this program like really works. I was impressed and shocked with how much the transformation pictures were like so apparent. So I decided to kind of look into uh, back then there was like pamphlets that you had to buy and I say it like back then like way back in the day <laughs> It was like a book that you bought with all of like the workout moves and how much time you have to put in and all that So back then they didn't have the app So luckily a year later they came out with the app and I started using the app But before that I literally went on Pinterest and I just like started I just basically screen captured everything and I used it that way from Pinterest so yeah, I downloaded the app and I started working out and talk about a life changer. I was already kind of getting back in the gym and I was just kind of doing like cardio and I don't even know, like I, I don't even remember what I was doing to be honest. So when I started BBG, I was just like, this is a huge, <laughs> this is a huge change in my life because this is like intense. So the first year I started, I was using the pamphlets. So I didn't even, there wasn't even a beginner's week at that point. I just jumped in. I did the program. I got to 12 weeks and I saw major change in my body. And not only in my body, like I was starting to notice that my confidence was going up and I was just like energetic and I was like, this is like freaking awesome. I feel so good. I just kept going and going and I was like a machine. I was just like driven and driven. And it got to this point where I don't know why, but like for some reason I was like either bored or um, something came up in my life where it just kind of shifted my focus a little bit because I was freaking driven. I was doing it and every single time I work out and go for it, I'm driven and I get it done. But this, this time, for some reason, I just got distracted and I was like, whatever. So I basically stopped doing EBG as often. So I, what happened was I gradually started to stop working out as much. And then I would just like go back to the gym like randomly and just be like, oh, okay. It became this thing where when the holidays come around, you just kind of want to indulge a little bit more. So that's kind of what happened with me. Like I just started getting like, you know, the pumpkin loaves and the, the lattes and all that. So I just kind of started to digress. Really at the time was like, whatever. You kind of just have to accept yourself sometimes and, and kind of go with the flow with how you're feeling in that time and that season. And so I, I pretty much stopped working out for like a while, probably like for four months or five months. I want to say I did BBG until power came out. So I did BBG 2.0, um, I tried, I didn't get all the way to the 58 weeks. I think I stopped at like week 30, something like that. So this time I'm determined to go to like 58 weeks. I just wanna see how my body is gonna look and I wanna see how I feel. And it's just, it's a mission I'm on. So hopefully by the grace of God that I, I can pull this off. So eventually I switched to power. Now my review of BBG is that it's hard work. Like you can't just expect to find motivation. Like you just have to commit and you have to show up and just do it. Like you can't just be like, oh, like, uh, you know, you can't whine about it. You just gotta go in there and sweat. With that said, I, I think when, when Kelsey Wells came out with her program, I was doing BBG for all those years. 
however long it took. I think it was like two to three years. And then I decided to change it up and do power. I really liked power, especially in the beginning. I was like, man, this is like awesome. I'm getting stronger and I could feel it. But then for some reason, like, I don't know if I was just eating too much or what was going on but I was already like gaining so much muscle mass that I looked like a man. And I'm, I'm gonna insert a picture in the end of this video that shows how buff my arm was compared to when it was when I did BBG. Some women want to get buff, like they want to be strong and like, uh, but for me, I've already ha I already have natural muscle, so I didn't want to look like a man, you know, plain and simple. I felt pretty bad because I had been talking to Kelsey like on and off since before she got famous, but I was talking to her and I said, hey, like, I'm really sorry that I have to stop this program. Like, I'm getting way too ripped, <laughs> like, and she didn't respond. You know, it was like way later when her, her program came out, but it's okay. I just wanted to explain to her. I didn't want to just write this post that I'm quitting it and just not explain to her. I don't know. I felt personal because we had been, we had like sent each other a couple messages prior to that. So I was like, I don't want to mess with that. I did power for a while. I probably did power for like, I'm going to say like four months, five months, something like that. And then I just decided to stop, basically transitioned into BBG Stronger. So that leads me into the next program that I'm gonna talk to you guys about. BBG Stronger basically wasn't a fit for me because it was basically BBG but with like weights. The reason why I didn't fit is because I basically was like a ping pong ball in the gym. Like you would do one move and then you had to go all the way to the other side of the gym to get the other machine done. And then on top of it, you'd have to take some free weights with you and they were getting in the way and like I couldn't just leave them there. It's almost like if you don't have a home gym, then you're literally like going like this and it was a waste of time. That's just how I looked at it. And then also like I would have to get down and do burpees in front of everybody and I just felt so awkward. I was like doing drop push-ups in front of everybody like after I would do like the machine and stuff and I just felt really strange and embarrassed that I had to sit there and do that while everyone was just like I just didn't want to bring attention to myself like that I was just like eh, this is awkward that program didn't go very well for me I think I maybe did it for like a month or two and I just like couldn't do it anymore so at that point I switched to tone it up because I was already I was like kind of like frustrated I'm like well I've already done BBG and I I did Kelsey and then now I did stronger, so what else is there? I decided to switch it up to, to do that and I was bored. Like, I just was just like, I cannot do Tone It Up. It's boring to me, it's not, a, it's not much of a talent challenge. Yes, it like burns your muscle and, and like tightens them and stuff, but I just couldn't do it. So I went, I, I think I just like kind of stopped working out because I felt like I didn't have the, the drive then and the motivation like I needed to stay in the gym and I didn't have the excitement. So I actually got depressed a little bit cause I was just like, man, like I'm just like over having no excitement for a new plan. I like fell off the wagon for about six months and I just, that was around the holidays again, of course. So I stopped working out. I pretty much got depressed again and I just decided like, okay, I need to like get back in the gym at least, even if I'm not doing a program, just kind of go to cardio and maybe just do like some free weight random stuff. And this was not organized. This was just kind of like, I didn't know what I was doing really. And I didn't want to pay the money cause I was pretty broke. Like I didn't want to pay the 20 bucks a month for the program because I was already paying for two gym memberships. Don't ask me why I do that, but I do. <laughs> I just waited and I waited and I waited and then um, there was like a, a like a holiday special that popped up on my email and it was like $13.99 a month. That was like 12 weeks ago because they were trying to get people to sign up for you know the new year. So I was like, okay, well I can do that, I guess. And I talked myself back into it. So I was like, I'm gonna start BBG again. I'm currently doing BBG right now and I am on week nine, just BBG 1.0. Like I'm not even to 2.0. I haven't gone up the ladder again, but this round I decided to focus on my mental health. And uh, a lot of girls say that and stuff, but I felt like if I focus too much on my physical appearance, like my my the way my butt looks or my my arms look or anything like that, then the focus is gonna be all wrong because if that's your focus on just getting hotter, like yeah, you'll get you'll get more attractive like as you <laughs> work out like 
that's the beauty that's like the icing on the cake but that shouldn't be your focus you see what i'm saying unless you're like getting married and you're already happy within yourself and you just want to get slimmer for your for like marriage or something i totally understand that but if it's like a mental thing where you're like oh if i just get skinny and toned like this is going to make me happy but really like i can tell you after after like five years of doing a program it's not gonna make you happy like it's going to start your journey of self-love so you're gonna start to get confidence and you're gonna start to realize like wow I've been working out hard in the gym like I've been doing it like no one else did it for me I literally picked myself up in the morning whether it be early or late and I got up and I did it and and I'm tired you know there's gonna be days that you're just like I freaking hate this and I told um one of the girls that worked in the gym I was like I freaking hate my mood right now like I'm angry like I just want to go punch that punching bag because it was like it was like pulling the toxins out of me when I was doing that leg day and I was just so pissed and so angry I don't know if you guys ever get in those moods when you're working out but like <laughs> It's always like after you feel good, but like mid workout, I just wanted to freaking punch something. So it's like in this really bad mood. There's just those days that you don't want to work out. But I just think this this program specifically, it's it's like a quick like I'm going to get bikini body ready and stuff like that. And I get that it's the bikini body guide, which can kind of just focus on the outward appearance. But it's so much more than that. It is like a life-changing workout. And I've been trying to, I talk to strangers in the gym about this program. Like I tell all of my friends, I'm like, you guys seriously need to get on this BBG train because it will change your body and it's gonna change your mind and your life, like seriously. I, I know girls that this program led them to become successful entrepreneurs. Like they are, Instagram famous or YouTube famous and like Kelsey Wells for instance She is now a trainer on the sweat app and she just started with BBG So it can transform your life if you're willing to do the work and you got to commit to yourself like that's That's all it is. It's just you got to take that extra step to love yourself and then make it happen So that's my advice to you guys. My one regret is I didn't stick with lists so I would just like miss list days and list is the low intensity steady state days which is like cardio and it's so you do three resistance training workouts and then like you work out six days a week right yeah six days a week you work out and then in between days you're doing cardio so it could be a swim it could be bike ride it could be anything like that so you're getting in your lists and i would skip those days like tons of times so those days are really important for your fat loss and they will help you when you're doing your resistance training because a lot of it's jumping and jumping lunges. So your cardio is conditioning you for those moves. And it's super crucial that you do it. Like, trust me, it all, like the way Kayla set it up, it's it's like perfect. There's no, there's no flaws. It's just, you just do it, you get it done and you will see your body transform. If you don't do it the way the program is meant, it, you're not gonna get the results that you want as quickly or maybe at, at all, I don't know. So what I do for lists is I do a treadmill workout, I do spin classes. I've been doing a lot more spin lately. I just want to like get my butt like, you know what I mean? That's just what I wanna do. And it's just really conditioning. Like it is hard, you're breathing heavy and I sweat, I lose anywhere from 300 to 450 calories, sometimes 500 in spin class. You just, you have to, you know, it all depends on how you push yourself. So yeah, if you guys are interested in getting the app, it's called the Sweat app, and I will show you guys what it looks like, but it's basically $19.99 a month, and you will get your water intake, you'll get a timer, you'll get music on there, and you get all of your program. So you can, um, there's like arm day, there's leg day, and there's full body day but the app looks like this. So that's what it looks like right there. Um, I still have the Tone It Up app, I don't know, just in case, but. <laughs> so now is the point in the video where I'm going to post my transformation pictures and yeah, like I said, I'm only on week nine, so don't expect this broad to be like perfect right now. Like I have a long way to go and besides, I don't really like to focus on body image so much anymore, but I'm just kind of showing you guys I want you to see like how the program actually does work. So thank you guys so much for being with me today and I love you guys so much. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because we're gonna talk about more fitness stuff and we're gonna have fun on here. So just go ahead and hit that, hit that. Hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post new videos. Bye.